Welcome back guys, today we're going to be trying to hit a pepper at 110 yards with no scope, only iron sights using the Gamo Magnum in 4.5 or 177. It's been restricted because I live in Poland, it's at 16 joules, 12 foot pounds in the UK, so it's a stretch. Let's have a go. I'm exhausted, I'm sweating from walking backwards and forwards. 109, 110 yards, uh, a red pepper. I actually hit it, I don't know how. I've skimmed it, but I've left it there because you're going to take a walk with me because you'll say I've, you know, on the side. But you can see where the pellet actually hit. Let's have a look. One gust of wind after another sends it miles off. Oh, it's been a pain. But I set out to hit it, I hit it with iron sights, 110 yards. Pretty proud of that. There it is. Look at this scattering of shots, so no grouping anywhere near there. There it is. With the pellet behind it. I'm surprised it's been able to cut that pepper at that distance because let me show you, look, some haven't even gone all the way through. So yeah, happy with that. And then when I was looking, I see I've nicked it again down there. So really happy with that at that distance. Yes! That took me ages. Did I use half a tin of pellets? Yes. Was I there forever? Yes. Could you kill anything with it? Probably not, because it'd fly away in the hour you take to try and sight it in. But with iron sights, happy with that. Literally, I don't know, it took me about half an hour, I'm saying, something like that. Not bad. Will I try any longer? Probably not. Not with iron sights, anyway. If I do, yeah, why not? We can have a laugh. We can go up to try and pitch it, say 150. There has to be zero wind. Happy days. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Peace.